Hey, John, we got a joke. Oh, yeah? Hit me. So little Johnny's neighbor lady had a baby. And little Johnny's mom says, all right, tonight we're going to go see the baby. But it was born without ears. So I don't want you to make any cracks about ears. Nothing like that. And little Johnny says, okay, I got it. So later on, they go over for supper, and the baby starts crying in the room. So the neighbor lady goes and pulls the baby out, and little Johnny's kind of looking him over, and she says, well, what do you think, little Johnny? He says, oh, he's got the most adorable little toes, a nice little button nose, and big, beautiful brown eyes. Tell me something. Can he see all right? And the lady says, oh, yeah. Doctor says he has 20-20 vision. Well, Johnny says, oh, that's great, because if he needed glasses, he'd be fucked. <laughs> There's this beautiful woman that goes into a really busy bar, and she summons over the bartender, but he's not listening because it's too busy. So she goes away, and she comes back about five minutes later, and this time she blows him a kiss. Whew. Little Johnny's bartender, he goes running over there. He says, hey, can I help you? And she puts her fingers on his face. She says, hey, you're kind of cute. What's your name? He said, my name's Little Johnny. And she starts rubbing her fingers through his hair. She says, oh, Little Johnny, are you the manager? He said, no, I'm not. And she starts rubbing her fingers all over his face and in his mouth and says, well, can you get the manager? And Little Johnny says, no, the manager's not here, but I could take a message. She smiles and she says, okay, you can let him know that there's no telling the paper in the ladies room little johnny goes to this bar one night and meets this beautiful woman after talking for a little while she says hey how about we go back to my place little johnny says hey sounds good so they go back to her place and she says go on into my bedroom because i'm going to change into something more comfortable so little johnny goes into her bedroom and she's got stuffed animals everywhere she's got three shelves on the bottom shelf she's got small little ones on the Middle shelf, she's got ones that are a little bit bigger. And then on the top shelf, she's got these huge teddy bears. Well, Johnny's thinking, this is kind of weird. But then she comes in and just ravages him. He has the best time he's ever had in his entire life. He's laying there out of breath after they're done. He says, oh, my gosh, that was amazing. How was it for you? She said, uh, little Jimmy, little Johnny, whatever your name is, you can pick a prize from the bottom shelf. And I have your cab waiting outside. <laughs> One day, little Johnny and little Susie were working in the garden. Little Susie was bending over picking weeds and little Johnny says, wow, your butt sure is getting big. She just keeps on picking weeds. He says, I bet your butt is as big as the grill. She just keeps on picking weeds. He says, you know what? I'm gonna go measure the grill and measure your butt and see which is bigger. So he takes out the tape measure. He goes and measures the grill and then he goes over and measures her butt. He says, little Susie, yep, your butt is two inches wider than the grill. She just kept on picking weeds. Well, that night, little Johnny was trying to get a little frisky with little Susie. And she says, uh-uh-uh, you think I want to fire up this big-ass grill for one tiny little weenie? Ain't happening. <laughs> little Johnny goes to the doctor and says, Doc, you got to help me out. The doctor says, well, what's wrong? Little Johnny says, I, I don't know, but I've got five penises. The doctor says, five penises? How do, how do your pants fit? Well, Johnny smiles and says, like says okay, love. class, tonight I want you to go home and write a poem and come back and recite it for me. The next day, little Susie comes back and she says, roses are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet, and so are you. The teacher says, oh, that's nice, little Susie. Little Billy says, roses are red, violets are blue, a face like yours belongs in a zoo. She says, little Billy, that's funny. Little Johnny's the only one left, so the teacher has to call on him. Little Johnny stands up and smiles and says, Roses are red, nuts are brown. Skirts go up and pants go down. Body to body, skin to skin. When it's stiff, stick it in. The longer it's in, the stronger it gets. It goes in dry and comes out wet. It comes out dripping and starts to sag. It's not what you think, teach. It's a tea bag. <laughs> little Johnny's teacher asks him to tell a story with a moral in it. So Little Johnny thinks about it for a little bit and he says, Okay, I got one. One day down by the river, there's this cat that sees some Vienna sausages floating by. So the cat goes in the water and grabs them. Gets its feet wet. Next day it goes down by the water, sees some hot dogs floating by. So the cat goes into the water, comes back out, gets its legs wet. Well, the very next day he's down by the river again, sees these great big old summer sausages floating by. Jumps in the water and pulls it out, gets his whole body wet. Teacher says, okay, that's a good story, but where's the moral in it? He 
It says teach. The moral is, the bigger the sausage, the wetter the pussy. <laughs> Little Johnny is always farting in class and getting in trouble for it. That's all he does, fart all day long. So one day the teacher says, all right, Little Johnny, you're going to have to stay after school so we can talk about this. So little Johnny stays after and she says, little Johnny, why do you do that? He said, because I can. And I believe I'm the best farter there is. She says, okay, if I can prove to you that I'm better, will you stop? He says, yes, but I don't think you're going to win. So she lays out two pieces of paper and puts a pile of baby powder on there. She says, okay, whoever can blow away the most baby powder with their fart wins. Little Johnny says, oh, this is going to be easy. So he goes over it, squats over it, farts, and he blows almost all the way, but just a little bit. Teacher says, okay, it's my turn. She goes down and she farts and blows it all away. Little Johnny says, that's amazing. I won't fart in class anymore, but will you do that one more time for me? She says, sure. She squats down and does it again. Well, this time, little Johnny looked up her dress and he says, well, no wonder. You got a double barrel. <laughs> little Johnny and little Susie had been married for 50 years. One morning down at the breakfast table, little Susie says, you know, if this were 50 years ago, little Johnny, we would be sitting here stark naked. Johnny says, you're right, let's try it. So they took their clothes off and they sat back down and little Susie gazes across the table and grabs little Johnny's hand. She says, you know, my nipples are just as hot for you as they were 50 years ago. Little Johnny smiles and says, yeah, that's because one's in your coffee and the other's in your oatmeal. <laughs> hey, John, I got a joke. Oh, yeah, go for it. So there's this deaf guy that goes into a pharmacy and wants to buy some condoms. And he doesn't want to write everything down, and so he pulls out a $50 bill and puts his pecker on the counter. Well, little Johnny looks at that, being the pharmacist, and he pulls out his pecker, grabs a $50 bill, and puts it in his pocket. Well, this makes this deaf guy real mad, so he starts waving his arms all around, and little Johnny looks at him and says, Hey, if you can't stand losing, you shouldn't make the bet. Little Johnny was asked to be in the school's talent show. So he practiced and practiced for two weeks, and he finally got up to the podium. He says, hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Little Johnny Johnson, and I'm going to sing a song for you that I wrote. <clears throat> oh, the moon shines bright on the nipples of her tits as the wind blew up her nighty. Your tits hang loose like a balls on a moose. Jesus Christ Almighty, bring out the bacon, bring out the beer. Let's have a party, poker in the rear. Thank you. Well, Johnny was late for school one day, and the teacher asked him why. He said, well, there was this man who lost his wallet on the street. She says, oh, so you were helping him find it. He says, no, not really. He says, but I had to keep on standing on it until he gave up and walked away. <laughs> well, Johnny calls up his dad on the phone and says, Dad, I'm a genius. He goes, well, what do you mean you're a genius? He said, well, I finished a puzzle, and it only took me one year. He says, okay. He says, yeah, but on the box, it said three to five years. <laughs> so little Johnny and little Susie were laying in bed, and little Johnny farts and says, seven points. Well, Susie looks over and says, what's that? He says, fart football, and I'm up seven to zero. Well, little Susie doesn't want to be outdone, so she lets out a fart, and she says, touchdown, tie score. After about five minutes, little Johnny farts again, and he says, all right, I'm up, 14-7. A couple minutes later goes by, and she farts again, a real big one. She says, all right, 14-14, tie score. A minute later, she lets out a little squeaker, and she says, field goal, I'm up, 17-14. Now the pressure's on, and little Johnny doesn't want to lose, so he's pushing as hard as he can, but instead of farting, he craps the bed. Little Susie says, well, what was that? He says, up, oh, halftime, switch sides. She says, okay, class, today I would like you to spell out what your father does for a living and tell us what he would do for us if he were here. Little Susie says, my daddy is a baker, B-A-K-E-R, and if he were here, he would bake us a cake. She says, that's nice, little Susie. Little Timmy says, my daddy is a salesman, S-A-L-E-S-M-A-N, and he sells beef jerky, and if he was here, he would give us all a sample. Teacher says, that's nice, little Timmy. Little Billy says, my daddy is an electrician. E-L-E, E-L-E, E-L. Teacher says, okay, little Billy, we'll come back to you. Little Johnny, what does your daddy do for a living? Little Johnny says, my daddy is a bookie. B-O-O-K-I-E. And if he were here, he'd give us 10 to 1 odds that little Billy couldn't spell electrician. <laughs> do, you, do you shower after sex?
Me? Yeah. Yeah? Maybe it's time you have some sex. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs>